what's going on guys back here with another video if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be entered to win the hundred dollars in free crypto go ahead and hit that like button too hey look you're either gonna do it or you're not but i needed to remind you so today um i or actually last night i was trying to go into my binance account and it looks like that i've been like locked out and what do you mean you might be wondering what i mean by like locked out or that they took all my money and things like that and it's not that I forgot my password or anything that I did on my side. It has to do with everything on their side. And I'm trying to get into my account and automatically when I go to the app, right, it already has me logged out. And now it does this sometimes just for like security stuff because I'd be in and out of that app like all the time, mainly Coinbase, but Binance. Now I never had no issues with Coinbase or Coinbase Pro. I normally use Coinbase Pro. I never really had no issues with them. The only issues that I had with them was that they wanted to make sure that you got your money in your account. Like your account better say that available balance that's in there and it has to be actually in there. So if you use like Cash App or something like that or like some type of instant deposit thing, nah, they're not feeling that. They want that money to be settled in your account so i had some issues with them as far as that goes just not having enough money in there whatever the case is um and then crypto.com i've also had issues with them of course they use like the 24 hour white listing and stuff like that but i don't think i've ever been locked out now i'm kind of locked out of my crypto.com and they kind of been taking you could kind of like lead that on to say that as well but not really so I can get on the crypto.com through my phone, but when I try to go through the computer, I don't know if anybody else is having this issue. I can't get logged in. Now, I know my email, I know my password, I know all that stuff. So it has nothing to do with that. Also, people are having issues with crypto.com just in general. I always hear stuff about them. So hopefully they get it together. But Binance, some, for some reason, I'm not getting my SMS, my text message for my code. So when you log in, you use your G your um, email and your password, and then it takes you to however you're going to authenticate it. And my SMS is not coming through. So none of my text message from them are coming through with the code. So I can't even get logged in. I don't have much on there because of course, I always preach to you guys, if it, you don't have the keys to it, it's not your crypto. So that's why I always preach that you know, use a ledger or some type of cold storage down in the description below. You can use my link and it'll take you straight to the website where you can go buy your ledger. You don't necessarily need a ledger X, but I would recommend to get a ledger nano X instead of the S just because it can hold more stuff on there, like different assets, more assets, things like that. So you can have a wider range of assets. But if you're just holding like Bitcoin or something like that, then you probably just need like the S or something like if you're not holding no crazy amount of coins or anything like that. But I would recommend that y'all go get that because right now they have my money locked up and I can't even get access to my account until they resolve it through the help ticket and all that. And who knows how long that's gonna take. So luckily I don't have majority of it on there. I don't really have that much on there. I just go on there to buy certain um, crypto or assets that that are not um, um, Coinbase Pro because they have like the lowest fees that I've noticed. So when I'm trying to send it somewhere else, then it only cost me like 13 cents to send some Bitcoin and it's fast too. So that's why I like to use Coinbase Pro. So I'd recommend y'all to use Coinbase Pro. Of course, none of this is financial advice, but I would recommend that y'all go use my uh, description, my link down in the description to go get a ledger if you haven't already, because if this happens to you and you got all your stuff on the exchange, it doesn't even have to be hacked. You could just be locked out, you know? just like me locked out and it's out of your control you know your email you know your passwords you know all that stuff but you still can't get in so basically they have your money they took your money and it's, it's out of your control just like if you got a hack or something like that so make sure it's in your control go ahead and get your ledger down below and don't end up like like me but at least it's not all of my money or whatever because you want to have at least a little bit on an exchange for liquidity reasons just in case you want to take some out or an emergency or anything like that, you know, so it's faster. But hey, look, as happens, it's part of the game. I'm going to get this resolved and I'm getting my money back. So they not they not taking my money. I'm not feeling that. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Get your ledger, get your ledger, leave a like and go ahead and subscribe to win that one hundred dollars in free crypto. Make sure you put it on your ledger. Don't get it took. <laughs> I'll see you all later.